of engineering and technology in department of instrumentation and control so today's our topic is chair transform in the unit number 1 discretization of the continuous system in the subject of advanced control theory so first of all what is the z transform so the z transform in the mathematical and the signal processing the z transform convert a discrete time signal which is the sequence of the real or the complex number into the complex frequency domain representation so also it can be considered as a discrete time equivalent to the laplace transform so in this chapter we will discretization to the continuous signal using the z transform up to now in the control system and the control system design we will deal with the s domain transfer function uh, up to now okay now now onwards we will deal with the z transform so our first target is we will convert the s domain transfer function into the z domain transfer function that means we will convert a continuous system into the discrete signal discrete system is nothing but the same like the digital signal as you know we have deal with the two signal in the control system the first one is the analog signal and the next one is the digital signal okay now the next one is the, we will detail about the what is the z transform what is the equation using the z transform in the advanced control theory and then we will study about the different transfer function using the z transform okay so first of all analysis of the continuous time linear time invariant system can be done using the z transform so here we will take one linear time invariant system for the continuous system and we will be uh, done this using the z transform so it is the powerful mathematical tool to convert the differential equation into the algebraic equation now what is the algebraic equation so, so the one sided z transform of the discrete signal x of n is given as uh z transform is x of z that is equal to z of x of t now what is the x of t it is the time domain analysis so we can replace the time into the sample form so that is equal to z into x of kt and that is equal to some uh, summation of k 0 up to infinite x of kt z raised to minus Okay, so this is the uh, formula of the x of z. Now, for the sequence of the numbers like x of k, this is the standard equation of the z transform that is equal to x of z is equal to summation of a is equal to 0 to n. So, we will take the value of sample from 0 to n. Then x of k z raised to minus k that is equal to summation of uh, k is equal to 0 to n x of k z raised to minus 1 in this out of bracket raised to k. Okay, so we will continue change the value of the k and we will find the different different z transform. So where here x of n is equal to finite integral signal. 0 and n it is the sequence supported interval and we discuss this is the a sample number and z is equal to any complex number and n is our integral ok so we can change the value from k 0 to n now next one is the two sided z transform if we deal with the two sided z transform that means left hand side as well as the right hand side that, so the equation of z x of z that is equal to z in this bracket x of t and here the value of the k will be, will be varied with minus infinite to infinite 
k x k t is damaged to minus k what is the difference between one sided and two sided z transfer in one sided we will start the sample value at the zero up to infinite and in the two sided we will start the value of the cap sample k that is equal to minus infinite to infinite so it is known as the two sided z transfer now the another equation for the two sided z transform is x of z that is equal to z x of t is equal to summation of uh, k will be starting from minus infinite to infinite x of k z raised to minus k okay now the next one is the if x of k has the z transform of x of z so z e raised to a t x of t now what is the z transform of e raised to a t a t that you have studied in the digital signal processing right so it is the summation of k is equal to starting from zero to infinite x of k t e raised to minus a k t z raised to minus k how this equation is coming that we have discussed in the next slide okay so z in the bracket e is to minus a t x of t that is equal to k now in zero to infinite x of k t z e is to a t and the full bracket is to minus k it is the simplified version of the above equation so this is the uh, different different z transform equation now different property of the roc of the z transform which property is there so roc of the z transform is indicate which circle in this z plane so we have to decide uh, using the transfer function and what is the roc of the particular this transfer function so roc does not contain any poles or the zero if x of n is the finite duration causal sequence or the right sided sequence then the roc is the entire z plane except at z is equal to zero so if we have a finite number duration causal sequence and or it is a right side sequence that time the roc is entire z plane except z is equal to zero the another condition is if x of n is a finite duration anti causal sequence or the left sided sequence that time the roc is entire z plane except z is equal to infinite so these two property you have to remember when x of n is the finite duration causal sequence or the right sided sequence that time the roc is entire z plane except z is equal to zero and if x of n is the finite duration anti causal sequence or the left sided sequence that time the roc is entire z plane except at z is equal to infinite so here roc does not contain any pole okay now next one next property is if x of n is infinite duration causal sequence what is the difference in the above sentence it is the finite duration causal sequence here it is the infinite duration causal sequence so that time roc is exterior of the circle with the radius a that means the z is greater than a and if x of n is an infinite duration anti causal sequence that time roc is interior of the circle with the radius a that means z is less than a so if we have a infinite duration causal sequence that time we can get the roc is exterior of the circle and when infinite duration anti causal sequence that time we can get roc in the interior of the circle with the radius a when the z is less than a so there are some different property of roc whenever we deal with this z transform okay and the last one is if x of n is the finite duration two sided sequence if we can get two sided sequence that means left hand side as well as the uh, right hand side that time roc is entire z plane except z is equal to 
zero and z is equal to infinite. So according to the transfer function or the according to the system or the plan, we will decide the ROC of this particular system. Okay, so this is some property whenever we are using the setter. Now, the next one is that we have to find a different different uh, transfer function uh, ROC using the given signal. So, first example is find ROC of the given signal and the signal equation is x, so x1 of n that is equal to in bracket 1, 2, 5, 7, 0, 1. It is a one-sided signal because the arrow direction at the first signal. So, if we can find the ROC for this particular signal, so x1 of z that is equal to 1 into z raised to 0 plus 2 into z raised to minus 1 plus 5 z raised to minus 2, 7 z raised to minus 3 plus uh, z raised to minus 5 because here the coefficient of z raised to minus 5 is 1 and the coefficient of z raised to minus 4 that is equal to 0. So we cannot consider this uh, term. Okay, so this is the uh, z transform equation. It is the one sided signal. So ROC is entire z line except z is equal to 0. As you know, whenever we deal with the one sided signal, ROC, we can get the ROC to the entire z plane except z is equal. Zero. Now the next example is find the ROC for a given signal and the signal equation is like that x2 of n that is equal to 1, 2, 5, 7, 0 for two sided signal. Here you, you can uh, compare that uh, both signal are same but here the arrow direction at the 5 point so this is known as the two sided signal. So we can convert into the, into the x2 of z that is equal to starting with the 5. So 5 into z is to 0. In the left hand side signal, the equation will be like that. z square plus 2z plus 5 plus 7z is to minus 1 plus 0z is to minus 2 plus 8z is to minus 3. So, this is the z-transform uh, conversion of this given signal. Now, we have to find the ROC for the given signal. And as you know, whenever the signal is two-sided, the ROC will be entire z plus except z is equal to 0 and the z is equal to infinite. Okay, now next one is find ROC for the given signal and given signal is the impulse signal. Now x3 of n that is equal to impulse signal and as you know the z transform of the impulse signal is 1. So x3 of z that is equal to 1. So we can get the ROC to the entire z plane. Clear? Now the next one is find the ROC for the given signal and the given signal, signal equation is x4 of n that is equal to delta in the bracket n minus k, k greater than 0. As you know, whenever we deal with the n minus k sample, it is the delay sample. So, whenever we convert the delay sample into the z transform, we can get x4 of z that is equal to z is to minus k. So the ROC is entire z plane except z is equal to 0. If we can deal with the uh, delta n plus k. So what is the z transform of delta n plus k? It is the z raised to plus k. Okay. So next is the x5 of n delta n plus k. As we discussed earlier, the z transform of the delta n plus k that is equal to z raised to k. So, uh, what is the ROC for this particular signal? So, so the ROC is entire z plane except z is equal to infinite. Clear? Okay. Now, the next is we have to obtain the z transform 
of the following equation and the equation is given they will given a input signal and the input signal is unit tap signal x of t that is equal to 1 whenever the value of the time is greater than or equal to 0 and we can get the zero when the time less than 0 we have to find the z transform for the unit tap function so x of z that is equal to z in the bracket 1 of t okay so the equation will be summation of starting from the n 0 to infinite 1 into z raised to minus n so the simplified version is summation of n is equal to 0 to infinite z raised to minus 1 now we can put the different different value of n and we can get the step response Uh, equation so x of z that is equal to what because we can put here z is z is equal to zero z is to zero that is equal to one then z is equal to minus one so z is equal to minus one plus z is equal to sorry n is equal to two so z is to minus two or up to infinite okay so simplify version of this equation is nothing but the that is equal to what upon One minus z inverse. So again, simplify this equation. We can get z upon z minus one. So what is the ROC for this particular unit tap function? So ROC is z greater than one. Clear? So using the z transform, we can easily find the ROC for this particular equation. Thank you, everyone. Now, in the next session, we will study about the different RAM function, different transfer function given to this system that we have to convert into Z transform, and then find the ROC for the different, 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 different equation. Thank you.